All right, so uh, a while back I went fly, fly fishing a handful of times, actually back into last year, and I was gonna do a specific video, or a video specifically about fly fishing and the gear I was using and stuff, and I caught a handful of fish, nothing special, just a bunch of sunfish and a couple of small bass and stuff, and I actually, I went fly fishing a bunch of times, and uh, the video I had in mind just never came to, came to fruition, so... Uh, I never really did anything with it. There's a couple of videos back there where I mentioned where I was fly fishing a lot, but I still never put any kind of video out. So I've got a whole bunch of clips here on the computer of the fish that I've been catching around town, uh, mostly in a small creek and then the river. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and put that together in kind of like a compilation, just a clip video, uh, fly fishing different areas, and I'll put the areas where I was. So, uh, if you guys want to try it out, uh, might be worth checking out. So, uh, uh, yeah, well, here it is. Here's the video I'm working on. And, uh, thanks for watching. Enjoy. Right, I just spotted this. Looks like somebody just hung it there. But it's probably been there for a couple of weeks since the last time it rained. Yeah. Uh, nothing in it, some leaves and stuff, but it's actually, other than being all dirty, it's in pretty decent shape, which is unusual because usually they're when I find something like this, they're all torn up and everything. This one's not torn up. It looked like somebody just hung it there. But it's from the last last time it rained. That's what's interesting about this this creek. It's because this is where all the rainwater in the entire city it all flows in right here. That's why it's, that's why it's always the first place to flood. But there's all kinds of stuff that gets washed in here. Here's a. Uh, couple of pieces of rebar that appear to be about 10 feet long each just hanging out here but looks like that's been there for a while that might be whatever this concrete rubble was like there maybe might have been some kind of building or something over here at one point might be what that rebar is from but uh it's also this this is another uh this is isolated from the rest of the creek this is all just rainwater and it came in right here. I'm not seeing any movement in here. Oh, now I am. But I'm not seeing what's making the movement, so there's not big enough to catch. I usually start at that end and work my way up this through this stretch, but this time I'm doing the opposite. Oh, okay, got him. Didn't take long on that. What do we got? Yeah, it's like a dark, very dark bluegill. That's an, much better than anything else I've caught so far on the fly rod. Very nice looking fish. Very, very healthy looking bluegill. Which is weird. I usually don't get bluegills here. I usually get green sunfish. Okay, I know there's some hanging out over there. That's what I want to keep trying to cast that way, and that's where the sun is still. The sun's starting to go down, so all the fish on this side have more sunlight. They'd be able to see it a little easier. Oh, got another one. This one's running with it down the of coming up to the surface but there we go looks like another bluegill yep another nice pretty little bluegill 
I knew I'd get one over there. Good coloring on them. I like these. I just need anything to eat it. Something swirling around right there. Come on. Oh, he blew up on it right there. Yeah, this is a good spot. Okay. Oh, that was a mess. It just got tangled on one thing and, I, and just kept tangling around and tangling around and tangling around more stuff. And there's another fish. That's a little bit better. Not a lot better, but it's a little bit. It's fighting harder anyway. It's probably a green sunfish instead of a bluegill. Nope, it's a bluegill again. No, well, not a bluegill, but a red eared sunfish. Same, pretty much the same thing. There we go. More good looking fish. Oh, slipped out of my hand when I was throwing him back, but he did get loose, get free. Oh. Yep, got another one there. This one's a little bit better. This is the best one of the day. Not by a lot, but it's a pretty nice bluegill. Another red ear, I mean. Same thing, whatever. Oh. <laughs> and they just keep slipping out of my hands and getting away. Slimy today. It's really dark. You can't even see what's going on anymore, but... These fish are biting here at night. Oh, that's a, that ran with it. Good, there, what is, what do we got? This is fighting harder than anything else today, but it's not, not even that big. It's like half the size of the last one I caught. Where is my line? Come on. Right. It's another, this is a bluegill. Good fish. That's like six today. Oh, no, no. There's another one. Oh, that's fighting harder than anything else. This is the hardest fighting one of the day. Not the biggest for sure, but... Come on. He did kind of tangle himself around a branch here, and I can't... There we go. This is a green sunfish. This is what I was expecting to be catching all day. Seven fish. Oh, there we go. Got another one. Eight fish. Did he come off? No, he's still on. Eight fish total. And, uh, oh, this is a bass. No, no, it's not. I thought it was a little tiny bass, but it's just a little tiny green sunfish. I just saw it was it's kind of slender like the other ones. Not like the other ones. The other ones have all been kind of chubby. And this fly floats on the surface just a little bit better. But it does end up sinking eventually too. And something just swirled on it. Something big just swirled on it. I wasn't quite paying attention just yet. Oh. Is that a fish? I got a fish, yeah. Didn't even notice, but it's a nice little one. Not fighting very hard. Oh, let's see. A little green sunfish it looks. No, bluegill. Oh. That's weird, because I, I usually catch green sunfish here. This fish is freezing cold too. But uh, yeah, I usually catch a uh, green sunfish here. Not not very many bluegill. But last night and apparently today, most of the fish have been bluegill. Good looking fish. They're all they all look pretty healthy here. Yeah. There we go. It's chilling out right there. He's actually kind of looking at me. 
and I pointed at him. He's just he's sitting there looking at me. That fish is crazy. I hate this because to bring it in, I end up with all this extra slack, and all that slack ends up getting tangled up. And then while I'm untangling all the slack, I get snagged on moss. And then when I'm snagged on the moss, I gotta bring in all the slack, and all the slack gets tangled up on something else. It's a never-ending cycle. It's almost like those old commercials, career commercials, where you can't get a job because you don't have experience, but you can't get experience unless you get a job. Step back a little bit where it's a little cleaner over here. Oh, I got another one. Oh, that one came up out of the water. Is he still on? Yeah, he's still on. Okay. A little bit bigger. It's not a big fish. But he's fighting a little bit better. Back to back cast, pretty much. Oh, this is a much bigger fish. It's another another bluegill. A lot fatter anyway. So yeah, my uh, my yellow fly is. Yellow and brown is working a lot better than green and black right now. But it could be that it's just such a smaller hook that I'm getting better hookups. Alright, right here, it seems like the fish are moving further down, so I'm kind of following them down. But right here, it's going to be a little bit harder for me to cast. Because I've got that pipe right there to deal with. So I'm kind of doing like a roll cast, but I'm almost doing it sideways. Letting it kind of like a lasso almost. Oh, that was a great cast right there. The fly landed right on the edge of the bank. There should be fish hanging out over there. It looks like they're more hugging this bank, even though the water's deeper on that side. <clears throat> but they should be hugging both banks, really. Oh, there we go. Got him. Oh, didn't want to tangle him up there, but there we go. Yeah, it's all. This is all the fish there is today. It's weird. Yesterday, I was catching different species just about on every cast. Today, it's all these. Oh, okay. I got him that time. I was about to cast again, and he grabbed it. I don't think it's the big one, but it's uh, probably about the same as those other two that I, I got a little while ago, the other three. No, he might be a little bit smaller. Ah, pulled him. There we go. This one took it as soon as it hit the water. It's definitely a lot more active than the other ones were. There he goes. Got him that time. Little bass. Nice little quad. Little bitty quad. He was actually kind of warm. I was expecting the water to be colder than that. All right, well, so uh, when I was trying to cast out my, my big fly, the expensive one, it snagged a rock when I was trying to get it off of these branches and I couldn't get it back when I was trying to pop it free the the leader everything just popped off broke off so and of course you know I didn't uh, bring any extra leaders I should have but I didn't so what I'm doing now 
is I'm gonna go to one of these spots that's heavily fished where people are always getting snagged and I'm gonna see if I can find some mono mono line there uh, hopefully something 10 pounds or under and I'm gonna see if I can find enough of that to make a leader with uh, I think I see some line down here it's also an old box of worms with this thing in it <clears throat> See if I can find a long enough stretch of line with no abrasions and stuff in it. It's... Oh yeah, there's a lot of line stuck right here. I don't know if any of it's, it's going to be good enough to use. Let's see, what do we got? Uh, I don't know what kind of line this is. That's not a long enough piece. Somebody's... Uh, Cut themselves free from snags here. I, I think I've got a stretch here that might be long enough if I can just get it out of this last clump just a little bit more. There's like four or five different spools of line tangled up right here together. This clump right here, this is actually a very thin braided line. I'm not going to be able to get that out of there and cut it off at that knot. Oh yeah, I think I got myself a stretch here. A good, I got myself a leader here. Keep feeling for abrasions. It's a nice strong line too. It's good, I don't know what kind of line it is, but it's strong enough. That, yeah, that's long enough. That's. That's a good stretch right there, and then it's abrasion. No, that's not an abrasion, it's just a line twist. So I can cut it off right there. And there's a big circle hook in there too. So there's a big swivel, a couple of different weights, a couple of different hooks. This is, somebody <laughs> was really tangled up there. And then a bunch of other people got tangled up into it. So there's all kinds of different line and different hooks and everything in there. But I've got myself a leader now. There we go. Got one. <laughs> there we go. It's a little bit better than the last one. You kind of choked it a little bit. I gotta get my pliers to get that out. This one's not a guad either. This is a spotted bass. Nice little fish. And he's swimming off fine. Kind of shook himself out of my hands there, but landed in the water. <laughs> okay. There we go. Oh, I set the hook on him that time, but he came flying up out of the water. It's another little one. Okay. <laughs> it's a little smaller than the other one, the first one, or the second one there. There we go, another little one. Another uh, spotted bass. The first one I caught was a little quad. These are spots. 